Hello, in this video we're going to look at how to derive marginal cost equations. So some preliminaries. Marginal cost is defined as the change in total cost or total variable cost from producing one more unit of output. In algebra we can write marginal cost as a change in total cost. So the top here in the numerator just means change in total cost divided by the change in quantity. This is just a slope. Okay, we're measuring how one variable changes from a one unit change in another variable. So marginal cost is technically the slope of total cost or the total variable cost um, equation. In calculus, uh, slope is a derivative. Um, so we just take the derivative of total cost or we could take the derivative of total variable cost with respect to the quantity of output to find what marginal cost equals. So let's do a number of examples. I think I have six of them here. Example one, we have a firm's total cost equation equals 100 plus 2.5 Q. The 100 is just a fixed cost and the 2.5 Q represents the total variable cost. Taking the derivative of this, following our rules of differentiation, marginal cost equals 2.5. So every time we produce one more unit of output, total cost increases by $2.50. Here's another total cost equation, one without fixed cost. Total cost equals 60Q. The derivative of this gives us marginal cost, and we see marginal cost in this example is constant at $60. Again, every one more unit of output produced raises the firm's total cost or total variable cost by $60. Example three, a slightly more complicated cost function, a nonlinear total cost function. Total cost equals 7,500 plus 3Q plus 0.2Q squared. Once again, to get marginal cost, we will take the derivative. Uh, the derivative of 7,500, that's just a zero. Derivative of a constant is zero, so it doesn't appear here. The derivative of 3Q is just three. And the derivative of 0.2Q squared is 0.4Q. So notice what I've done here, I took the two um, up here, brought it in front, so 2 times 0.2 is where this 0.4 is coming from. Lastly, 2 minus 1 leaves us Q raised to the power of 1, or just Q. Another total cost equation uh, that is also nonlinear. The derivative of this gives us marginal cost, so the derivative of 440 is 0, the derivative of Q is 1, so that's where the 1 is coming from. And the derivative of 1 third Q squared is going to be 2 thirds Q. Bring the 2 down in front. So 2 times 1 third is just 2 thirds. And then here in the exponent 2 minus 1 just leaves us Q raised to the power of 1. A slightly more complicated example, instead of having total cost, we're given the firm's average, average total cost equation. And if average total cost equals 100 divided by Q plus 2 plus four times the square root of Q, we can still get marginal cost. The first thing we need to do is turn this average total cost equation into a total cost equation. We can do that by solving for total cost, which just equals average total cost times quantity. So in parentheses here is our average total cost, and I'm going to multiply that through by Q, the quantity of output. So Q times 100 divided by Q leaves us with 100. 2 times Q leaves us with 2Q. And then finally, 4Q raised to the 1 half power times Q is just 4Q raised to the 3 halves power. Okay, just adding the exponents here. Um, next, taking the derivative of total cost, we're going to get 2. Bring down the 3 halves in front, so 3 times 4 is 12. Dividing 12 by 2 leaves us with 6. And then 3 halves minus 1 is just Q raised to the 1 half power. And one more example. Here, this time, we're given average variable cost. Got an average variable cost equation of 1.5 plus 0.125Q. Like the last example, we need to get uh, total variable cost, okay? And we can get total variable cost by multiplying average variable cost through by Q. 
So again, a kind of similar technique that we used in our last example. And average variable cost is in parentheses, multiplying that through by Q. We get our total variable cost equation. And just note here, total cost would just be some constant plus total variable cost. We don't know what that constant is, so I'll just put fixed cost here. Uh, but regardless, taking the derivative of total variable cost or taking the derivative of total cost will give us 1.5 plus 0.25q, bringing the 2 down in front. 2 times 0.125 is just uh, 1 fourth or 0.25. All right, that's my last example. I hope you found this helpful.